Hey guys, Portia here, and today I'll be using a hack that's going to allow me to use DTF products with my inkjet printer. Now I have tried this hack out with my sublimation printer and ink and I was really pleased with the results but there's always more to discover. So I'm going to be using DTF film as well as a DTF powder with the inkjet printer. Now both of those products were sent to me by the brand Casu. They are located on Amazon. You can find them there and I also will put a link in the description along with a discount to both of the products. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and use the film to print our image out and then we're going to go ahead and iron it on or rather press it on to our t-shirt and then we'll talk about the results so let's go ahead and jump all right in. first things first let's take a look at our film now the first thing to note is the film is two-sided one side is super glossy one side is matte the side that we actually want to print on is the matte side. So with my inkjet printer, I'm going to put it in the printer facing myself so that it's going to print on the correct side. We do not want to print on the slick side. Now also, another tip I got from Angel Bee Designs, shout out to her, um, I am going to use painter's tape to add a little bit of weight to this film because it is super thin and sometimes the printer has uh, issues picking it up. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and print out my design and then uh, show you guys what we got. This is the image that we're going to be using today. And I will admit that I did print it a little bit larger than it was supposed to be. So it kind of cut off our edges. But you know what, y'all? I said it's going to be all right because guess what? It's still legible. Now, if you may notice, I am not touching any of this ink here. Reason being is because the ink is living on the surface of the film. It did not absorb into the film. So if I touch this, it will smear. And we don't want to do that because we're going to have to print again. And again, we don't want to do that and waste products um, so I think this looks just fine to go ahead and work with what I am going to do is carefully take my painters tape off because I no longer need that I'm gonna sit this right here now let me get my powder because the next step is we are going to coat our ink with the powder which is in turn going to help it to adhere to our fabric. But let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this uh, powder is definitely reusable. So let me set the pouch aside and we are going to come through and what we're trying to do is just gently coat our image with the powder. We kind of move it around just a little bit, not too much. And we are going to dust off all, all of our extra because we don't need that. And I have seen some people like use a lunchroom tray or something like that to help keep the powder uh, inside. And I should have did that y'all cause the powder is gone all over the place, but it's gonna be all right. So what we have to do next is cure this image and I will be using my regular heat press uh, to cure it. So let's go ahead and set up for that. All right, so here is our fully coated image. As you notice, it looks a little bit matte from the powder, but that is okay. That's gonna change in a few minutes. I'm gonna lay this here. And my heat press is set to approximately 320, 320 degrees. And I am going to allow this to just hover over this image for approximately 60 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. What's going to happen is the powder is going to melt into a gel-like texture. And then we're going to see a little bit of our color start to come back through a little bit more vibrant. That's how we'll know that it's done. But let's go ahead and let that process happen. Okay, so we have been going for about three minutes. Um, I find that the three-minute mark uh, works better for me in all my little tests and my actual projects that I've done the three minute mark works. Now, as you can tell, we don't have like a powdered, powdery consistency anymore. 
we can clearly see what the image looks like so this is the front and this is the back so um, yeah it doesn't look like glitter anymore that's what it reminded me of the first time so now I know that my image is ready to put on the t-shirt so let's go ahead and set up so that. today I'm using a black shirt it is a hundred percent cotton it's just the Gildan ultra cotton I don't think you know nothing special about it picked it up from Walmart so let's go ahead and prepare the shirt all right, and we still want to be careful not to touch the um, image. Place it about right there. I'm going to cover with parchment paper. And we're going to end up doing two presses. The first press is going to be to adhere the um, the image to the shirt and the next press is going to be to ensure that it is nice and smooth onto the shirt and it kind of gets really good into the fabric so we're going to do the first press at 320 for about 30 seconds Alright, so this is a cool peel, which is something that I forgot to mention in my first video. Um, so this is what we are looking like so far. Gonna let it cool down. Alright, so we have cooled down and I, I did take a peek. Um, so let me bring you guys a bit closer. Let's go ahead and peel all the way not too shabby okay so like I said this is um, we got to do this again and so let's just go ahead and put our paper back down come back around here and we are gonna press again for about what 15 seconds nothing too long so let's do here we go y'all we are all done and I must say I'm liking it so first off I want to tell you how it feels so it does it's like completely it has adhered uh, to the fabric so it doesn't feel like it's going to peel up or anything like that which is definitely a good thing like when you use say for instance regular um, transfer paper on fabric sometimes you can feel it and as you wash it you can start to see it fade and peel up now honestly the true test is going to be when we wash this and I am going to do a video when I wash my sublimation print that I did as well as this one with the inkjet and it just totally feels like it's a part of it so in that regard I really like um, how it feels or it seems a little bit better than regular transfer paper like dark transfer paper now the look that I'm getting here is almost like tone on tone but you could still clearly see the image and that's pretty cool the ink did completely come off of the transfer paper so there is absolutely no wasted ink here which is pretty awesome but yeah guys this is all I have for you today I just want to share with you all my experience with using the Casu um, DTF transfer film as well as their DTF powder with my inkjet printer and um, if you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful, just plain old entertaining, could you go ahead and give it a thumbs up? But guys, as always, until next time, peace.